So before Little Yachty's Delusion, he's betrayed by his artists. I did not catch this one, so we're going to watch this now. What's pop, y'all? I'm not going to lie. I feel really bad for Lil Yachty. Because as of late, or just the most recent event, his artist, Caribou, moment. which is one of his more popular artists out of the Concrete group. I don't know if she's more popular musically. I haven't checked the numbers of the other people, but she's got about 500,000 monthly listeners, which is incredibly low for somebody that's as oh. recognized as her. And for somebody whose news really around her leaving Concrete and Yachty did so many numbers. Like, yo, if we look at these new young bucks like Netspend, they've got the same monthly listeners or more. And they're nowhere near as popular popular as caribou is granted they aren't standing right next to a mainstream act like lil yachty albeit sure it yachty's not an a-list mainstream rapper but he is mainstream we all know who he is and he's right beside drake so yachty's somewhat forced to give a statement and he says the following which is very simple kept it polite but you could tell from this that yachty was not happy with what happened which why would he be right caribou she clearly had to be unhappy with her situation. So while she may not say anything bad, we know that there was something bad, not objectively bad, but from her perspective, going on with Yachty's crew or group. Oh, the thin. question becomes, was she signed to Concrete or was this a, hey, we're going to kick it as a crew and then eventually we'll figure out paperwork later? I don't think that was the case. I'm pretty sure Yachty had to sign them so in now is she separated from them somewhat to uh similar to a gunna and young thug situation where gunna's still dropping on ysl but he's doing his own thing or is she dropped from the label if she was ever on the label in the first place which i feel like she had to have been on the label there's no other yeah, i just can't change imagine the anything concrete. else especially for yachty the guy's been in the game for a while he knows what's going on granted i wonder if she's on the label as a group and not as an individual artist, she hasn't dropped too many songs. Yeah, she hasn't even dropped too many songs on her own. Yeah, she dropped her song Running Late. That's got 7 million streams, a good amount. And Damn. I will cut her some slack. She hasn't dropped a full project yet or even an EP from what I'm gathering. It's just songs here and there. So 7 million, that's a really good amount, the song Running Late. <laughs> and that was on Concrete artist, Records. So what does that tell you? She was. So she had no prior work at all, bro? That's interesting. So he went full in on this artist with no prior work. Caribou... I just don't believe it, bro. It's like, he, he just hired off for what? Like, off of nothing? I can't really find, like, a good history of her stuff, but if she ain't got shit, that's crazy. But hey, you like, props to her, bro. It must be good. Well, I ain't heard a to Concrete. Yet. Will her next release be on Concrete? I'm not too sure. If it's not, then that means he dropped her. If it is, then that means she's still signed but wanted to leave the crew. Which begs the question, why would she leave the benefit of being around Yachty and the crew if she's still going to have to share in the money with them and have her music distributed by them i don't know i do feel bad for yachty though because he has consistently put a ton of effort into trying to put on artists even whole scenes and that's why i genuinely think he's a cool like a good guy right yeah he's trying to he better he than drake had that wholesaling team that he was trying to help out he spent i think he said he spent over a million dollars trying to put these guys on they were lazy, weren't motivated, probably just smoking weed, sitting in the <laughs> studio while he's paying for studio time, not doing a damn thing. And they didn't do anything for themselves. And who knows what that they're doing right now. That so that's one hell, example bro. where in the beginning of his career, he decided to do this. Kind of like on some Chief Keef GBE stuff, which is probably where he got the inspiration because Yachty said he was a big fan of Chief Keef. But who wasn't? So that passed. Yachty do goes on to do his own thing. Then the Michigan era happens, the Flint era, where Yachty's kind of rapping like these guys. And instead of rapping like these guys and keeping it pushing and taking their sauce, he goes out there, he spends an extended amount of time, I think, living there and recording with these guys, rapping with these guys, hopping on these guys' songs, putting these guys to the forefront. Whenever he's doing an interview, he's speaking about them. He's like, yo, I love this scene. There's... A rapper a b c d these guys really inspired me i started listening to them i said yo this is something different so he helped put on these guys but these guys were already motivated they were they had the buzz in their region and then he brought them to a more national platform and they kept it running and he didn't sign them or anything like that but it was a good exchange where yachty was around them he assisted them with 
popularity, probably gave them insight into the industry themselves. And they're doing well because they're actually motivated and working hard. So now, Yachty goes on to bring another crew of people. And keep in mind, during this time, Yachty's rolling with Drake. He's big again. He just had an album that did very, very well. People have a lot of respect for Yachty. And what does he decide to do? Hey, I'm going to bring a new crew of artists and I'm going to try to put them on again. Who's doing? Look at Drake. Drake's not trying to put nobody on. Dude, yeah, just, no, yeah, give me your hits and you can sit over there. And that's All not right, disrespect bro. to Drake. That's just more showing how difficult and arduous of a task that Lil Yachty is doing for the love of the game. Because these people aren't stars. They're not going to make him smash hits. They're not going to make him any more money than he would be making himself. Or f- writing nice. for other people or collaborating with other people, whatever he's doing for Drake and other artists. Yet he still chooses to do it. And then now, he loses this artist. So it's kind of a damn. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Like you're trying to help people out, and then this is what they do. It's not they stab he, you in he the give back, too much. but you end up taking the L out of the situation, whether it's financially. That's, that's the biggest issue. He gave him a little too much. He's like, he's giving him too much leeway. Like, he's giving too much, like, uh security in their like in their shit or whatever you know you probably got them all the chains all the money and shit like that and and, and like you said there's probably chilling smoking weed on couch while, while you know studio time running and, you know it's, that's not a good thing bro it's never a good thing have a whole bunch of bums in there bro you feel me so i mean ho- hopefully they work in i ain't heard none of them to, just to let y'all know i ain't heard not a single one and i ain't even know girl so like that's, that's gonna be interesting i'm gonna have to uh listen But uh, I don't know. He must have thought it was a good investment. Or your time. And I think for Yachty, it's both. Like, sure, he spent a ton of money just flying these people out and getting them studio time is already a big bag. And then there's marketing and promotion that he spent. He put his own name on the line for these people. And I say these people as the group, Concrete. But Caribou was the front front runner of the group in terms of fame people liked her personality as well she had a mix of everything but i just think she probably hasn't released enough music i guess from what i've seen she doesn't have that many songs out and the songs don't do too bad and she was signed to concrete and qc her most recent song uh the folly song which didn't even hit a million streams and that was dropped in march so caribou dropped the song march 29th the song doesn't even hit a million streams it's at 800 000, which is a perfect example of there are some artists that are more popular than their music is even at a smaller scale and that's the case with caribou over here but he was building these people from the ground up that's the thing too yadi could have swooped in and picked up a he crew of artists early, that were already early. doing decent numbers let's say two hundred thousand monthly listeners right and then he could have ran them up a lot quicker but he built this from the ground up and this is something that we're going to hear from more caribou is going to probably allude to frustrations either in music or on ig because whenever she does anything public people are going to ask her about this it's the biggest moment of her career and she will have to give an answer she may give a non-answer like man you know i can't really talk about that yeah my people we were great it just we just didn't have a similar vision no 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 maybe she didn't have a similar vision as those other people on there but her and yadi definitely had the same vision which yeah. was taking her to the top i i don't think yadi was lazy in any regard when it came to pushing her or the rest of these guys Yachty was putting in work. And the only reason we know her is because we know Yachty. So the fact that we discovered her her through Yachty just goes to show that Yachty was doing his job. Or more than his job. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. You think she'll do better on her own? I think she will have more attention. Especially her first song. And this is the question. Will her first song mention any frustrations? That will probably be the best business move. But will she take it? I think this is just a class act by Yachty on handling the situation. Much respect to him for this. I've always liked the fact that Yachty doesn't have this scarcity mindset with music where he, some artists believe like, hey, if I put this person on, someone else might sign them or someone else might get credit or they might get more pop than me. He's never thought like that. If he liked somebody, he would mention that he liked that individual's music or work. He would potentially work with them and he'd try to elevate them as much as he could within reason. And that's a quality that we don't see many artists have. It's pretty selfless, too. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you enjoyed. Follow me. Hey, all I can say is, bro, Yachty may have been, you know, down delusional and shit like that, bro. But he was was putting niggas on, bro. He's been been trying. He's been trying to put these people on. And they want to be lazy or whatever. They don't want to put on. That's them. But old girl looks like uh, she's getting taken to the top. So that's good for her. I ain't heard no, no music by her. I'd have to go listen to something, I guess.
But I'll make sure to do that. I have to listen to the uh, the Concrete Boys, and that's what they are. I have to listen to all of them because I have not heard any of them. I have heard he had a group though. I just never like tuned into the group. But it's good to see that like he is actually being a good like a good boss and actually trying to promote his people. Oh, 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 oh,